Hello everyone, today we are going to unbox and kind of review this Ninja Dual Brew Pro. It is a specialty coffee system. I'm not sure what is specialty about it because it uses the regular uh, ground coffee and the K cups. That is the reason I've got this one because it can technically do everything, right? So <clears throat> it is faster single serve pod brewing from startup versus Keurig K Elite. So well, I have a Keurig, not Elite, but let's see how it will do. So this is how it will come. And this is French, so no. All right. So uh, coffee house, versatility means pod convenience. Okay. So you can have a classic coffee, a rich coffee. Okay. So there are settings. Of course, uh, you want it. There is iced coffee. I had the iced coffee option in my Keurig, current Keurig one, but it didn't do anything. So I have to check if this will actually pour cold coffee or not because that one is still hot. <clears throat> this is specialty coffee because it has a frother built in. So plus points for that. <clears throat> it can also do hot water. So this is one thing which is, you know what, really handy because this is one system that can do everything. You want coffee, you want specialty coffee, you are on hot water. Sometimes I just want to have green tea. And you know what, instead of boiling water, I would prefer to have it come through here so come on oh, plus points for this as well and now it is what does it say consistent temperature so ideal view temperature okay i have no clue about this so okay even saturation so shower head and dry needles ensure no coffee ground goes on brewed well i can't see inside so i don't know but i'm i'm <clears throat> you know what trusting it brew cycles uh, pattern of brewing and pausing calibrated for every size and style okay so it seems like they have put a lot of r d into this and now let's see what does it include so it includes this big view thing the pot so that is good because normally in the morning me and my wife we have like two two and a half cups of coffee in total so instead of having two or three pods we can just brew it via the coffee into this big one so that is helpful or when you have friends over you don't have to like you know go for each and every pod that's how you waste the pods i would say but this is good thing to have so you have option of both and it has a fold away hot and cold frother it also has ninja smart scoop so i think it's just for the scooper it has the ninja pod adapter as well it has the paper filter kit removal blue basket so that is i'm not sure if paper filter kit what it is but removal blue removable brew basket means the you don't have to have the new basket like you know the paper basket every time that is what i'm assuming so let's open it up and see this is a good packaging elevate your brewing experience <clears throat> blah 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 which will you brew first ground or pods good this is a really nice packaging i would say because at least in the looks right at least in the looks so this is what it is it i think it's warranty paper and everything and okay just one paper filter that's it okay okay not bad i'll keep it on the side and keep this one i think in quick startup guide and everything on the side as well plus recipes as well so <clears throat> it shows you how to do it okay what oh this is a good representation so this all you have in it you see nice got it and then it just shows how to do it but let's first get one by one all the equipment so this is the frother we'll keep it on the side and let's open this up all right okay let me see if i can do it with one hand okay here you go and first look it is big i i didn't realize it would be this big but it is quite big i'm not complaining mm, let me check okay and the oh, if you the pot is in here so if you put the pot in it it's quite a big system and this is full so i think it can do the entire big thing i have to double check how much uh, it can brew like how many cups so this is one cup this is a travel cup it is good that they have given 
you know sizes as well that you know how much you want and then what is over here i think this is for oh you know what if you don't okay you know what i'll open it up so it will be more easy to make you understand hold up all right so this is how it is looking not too shabby right almost same as the one over there so now this is the pot it is quite big of a pot i have to actually check somewhere how many uh cups it can make but i'm, I'm assuming at least five or ten might be not sure but this is good and when you don't have, want to have that and you want to use a pod you, you can't keep it here right that this is just too much of space so voila you keep your cup here and then the coffee will brew from here nice thing to have right and i think this is something which i have to figure out what is it but we'll figure it out together and this is i think the setting of how you want your coffee fine or i think this is just for water this is for coffee okay makes sense all right and now it shows over here ninja pod adapter push to remove adapter pull to lock adapter and lift handle we just remove this so let's see okay okay so this is the pod where the teacup will go so this is simple enough and then remove hmm how to remove it Oh, it goes back and then. Oh, you know what? I think it will remove it completely. Yes. So, this is how you remove the entire thing. So, this is the pod adapter. Nice. It's actually not that uh, plasticky. It is plastic, but it, it has a good feel to it. So, like, really nice quality. Not too much, but I eh, won't complain. I would say 8 out of 10. So we'll keep this on the side this is the i think plastic thing basket so it will brew from here and i think you just have to take out this particular unit i will figure it out and this is slight oh this is the pod adapter if you want pod you bring this over here if not this will come out and then this will i think it will have like you know uh the outlets over beneath there and it will brew coffee from there oh, nice really sleek design really sleek design they have actually utilized like crazy now to avoid contact with steam and to not reach to this place is okay oh you know what we have to also find where to keep this one more thing which i will put here that they have actually have this scoop right over here i'll remove this so you can see so this is a really good and handy place to keep it there you go you see remove it this is the rubber over here and then boom right to its place so you don't lose it you don't uh like you know keep it anywhere and then forget about it and i think this will go right over here let me take it out and also put it over here but huh now my question is it will lock like this but I have to see oh you know what no it will okay i have to get this out hang on ah you see it came out like that so i'll just put like this and this this is locked and then it has its own place it has its own place over here with everything is set up boom you want to do something just i think this is the on off button for this one for the frother and then back to its plates really really good really good i just want to see how it functions so i can give you a better review so let me get this down and then get it working and then show you all right so this is how it is looking after almost 20 days of use i know it's dirty i didn't get time to clean it but all good no worries so you can set up the time over here and then there is this open close open close so you don't mess it up right that uh, if you don't have water you can close it just so a reminder for you that okay you have to put water and then these are the options you get so depending on the brew style if you have a pod it will automatically detect this particular unit and be like okay 
the only option over here is pod so you can have it rich which gives you maximum of 11 ounce you can go as low as six you can go as more as 11 ounce if you are over eyes same option is over eyes and classic so specialty is just one option which is four ounce that's it nothing more than that and then you have another option of classic which is the regular coffee which again 12 is the maximum as low as six and that's how it is so this is with this adapter now see what happens when we remove the adapter so you have to push and then remove it so this is removed you can see i've not used this one yet so it's clean i guess uh, i would have really liked if they have would have given like you know something pre set uh, like you know filter or something but it's all good now as soon as you do this you see it changed now instead of pod option here it is showing you this bean option it means that you have uh, put your own beans and now classic you can go all the way up to 55 ounce that is what i think is the capacity of this beaker will not use it right now but yeah let me just show yeah this is how it will fit and then you can go low 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 this is actually the full one if you can see then if you go rich it is 47 ounce over ice 55 specialty i actually don't think you should even consider using specialty coffee with the ground one because i just don't know it's too much of measure and everything that you have to do so just forget about it now this is all things coffee one more reason which why, uh, why I bought this machine is because it can do hot water. I know it, it sounds silly, but man, you know what? I actually enjoy it. So over here, you just switch it to water, right? Now over here, you will see it changed, changed completely. Now you can select what kind of hot water you want. Do you want boiling or just do you want hot? So you can select it from there and then you can get as much as water if you you want 60 ounces the maximum you can do it less there is delay option as well where you can set it up so it will be ready when you want it to there are a lot of cool options so that is that you have to actually in this one i don't even think you have to open it because it will work regardless so that is the option i have yet to try this uh, frother but i'm assuming it's, it's just a normal frother right let's see yes it's working it's working so it should work good and then you can remove this uh, just twist it and remove it and once it's clean put it back and then oh, there you go so let's put this one back it's easy it's mechanical and then you have to get it forward to make that sure that it is working now you'll see last time we did it it was the regular coffee and now it switched to pot so basically this is working it makes good coffee uh, I would say not as good as the Nespresso, but still comparable to Keurig. And that's why this is for the win because at the same price, it gives me more options. It gives me option to have the regular coffee, whichever I want. It gives me pods. It's also give me hot water. It gives me frotho, everything for the same price. So that's a thumbs up from me. Have a good one.